what's happening, what it is right now. Actually, y'all, can you believe this is a new unit? Well, it's actually a new tablet. But the camera seems like it's going slow as hell. You know, it's, it's, it's moving like slow as hell. Nevertheless, look, it's more to come on what I have announced about the health and the negative ions. It's um, importante, you know. It's very important, you know what I'm saying? Because it's something that we have not paid attention to. We already know when people get sick, when they go for a vacation, they normally instantly gets better. When they when they normally go to a retreat, all right, they instantly get better. And why do they instantly get better at going to a retreat somewhere that's peaceful? You know, an island where it is water, where it is all a lot of sun, where it is under the equator, you know, or closer to the equator. Why? do they regenerate okay but it's much more to that y'all much more to that you know it's it's much more to that and when i was talking about i'm talking about something else totally but i'm gonna give you a little bit more since i'm speaking to you at this time all right listen working on that yeah matter of fact i will give you a little bit here and a little bit there because it's going to take some time to put this video all together and it's going to be long and it's going to take a, a much longer time to render it. So it may be a couple of days. Okay, this is why I give y'all the information that I have uh, picked up through, through the so-called cosmos and through the ethers, you know, and give it to you. So you may have it to study. Okay. Now, listen. The, um, um, the correspondence. The perfect correspondence is with materials, you know what I mean? Different materials and stuff, you know? One of, um, you can go and find out, just look up static electricity. What is more positively charged as material and what is more negatively charged, all right? I got the list. It's in the back. I'll show it to you next time I talk to you, okay? For real, for real. But listen, it's not only polyester of course you know it's cotton every 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 material wood cotton plastic all this um teflon um cellophane silica all this is listed and it is a positive charge or it's a negative charge all right positively charged is positive ionic i'm gonna say that i'm gonna go ahead and jump out there and say that regardless of what book proves that to be wrong all right and i'm gonna jump out there and say negatively charged is negatively charged ions see the earth is negatively charged the sun is positively charged your body is the battery but if you unhook the negative charge on the battery you know the car is not going to start. I'm going to say that once again. I know most of you caught it. If you unhook the negative cable on that battery in that car, you are not going anywhere. Am I right? Yes. Indeed. Indeed. So what am I saying? Take your shoes off. But but they got chemtrails and shit fall down and you stepping in it and um they got all this stuff on the earth. The earth takes care of itself. It's negatively charged. But I also heard that if cl if, it's a, if it's a cloudy day when it's cloudy outside and the sun is not hitting the earth, it becomes positively charged. So you have to work with the skills that you have learned. All right, so sometimes you have to flip flop. And that's when that positive and negative come in. But nevertheless, getting to this real quickly. All right, on that subject right there, I'm going to add this in for you. All right, now I'm going to know y'all adding on. If anybody out there adds on, will you please put it in the comments? This, this, this is like a collective thought right here. Because I don't believe anyone has stepped out there and said that. 
just as much as your alkaline diet. And I know this gonna come to uh, uh like a see most people ain't gonna do it. See, you know what I mean? Let's just say if it was um eight hundred million people, all right, they got this knowledge. Only twenty of them <laughs> gonna do it <laughs> because they whacked out. Oh shit! All right, shit. You mean tell me I can't wear no Tims? I I can't wear no uh Jordans? We said that when taking your shoes off, niggas ain't taking their shoes off. I mean, uh, people ain't taking their shoes off. Nagas gonna take their shoes off. See, a naga, uh, a nigga gonna do anything. But he got to understand that he's a naga. In 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 a in a, you know, word term, but nevertheless, correct correspondence. All right, now. One of the heights on a positive, okay? Is it positive or is it negative? I'm going to find out though. But it's rabbit fur. Rabbit fur is high up on the positive scale, all right? It's positive. They tell you, for good luck, put a rabbit's foot. They give you a rabbit's foot. But see, you got to understand though. And, and matter of fact, I'm going to expound on it a little bit more. I might not even get to what I was going to tell you. I might get to it, but we're going to see. Since I'm speaking in this manner, I might as well let it on out, right? Because I might miss it in another video that's coming to you sooner than you sooner. <laughs> Nevertheless, so the, the rabbit's fur is a positive, positively charged ion, all right? Now, hear this. Positive represents the cold, all right? The positive ion represents the cold. Now, but but it's used in a perfect correspondence, all right? But rabbit fur, if you rub it on glass, you know, if you take rabbit fur and you rub, uh, let's say if you had a, uh, a glass rod and you took the rabbit fur around it and you rubbed it on it, right? You rubbed it on it, it will instantly charge that that glass, all right, which so-called static. And by the way, people that you know look, you know, over static electricity. Your boy Einstein, your boy Einstein, he said at one point that the universe was all static. But he stopped. He stopped going in that manner. I wonder why he stopped going into that manner. Maybe he was revealing too much. So they switched it. Now, you hear me? Now, he's working and funded by certain people when he was working, right? So he was funded, and maybe he got to something that they said, nah, you better shut that shit off, Einstein. You hear me? <laughs> I mean, anyway, so check it. This is this is what it is. Um, where was I at? Um so he 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 said it was a, a a statically charged universe, but then he stopped it and went to something else. All right, for reasons unknown. Correct. For reasons unknown. So nevertheless, <clears throat> where was I exactly at? Um. Okay, the rabbit fur. All right, they tell you put a a lucky rabbit's foot. You know, remember that rabbit's foot and stuff, rabbit fur, because it is it has an impact, it has a a magnetism, it has a vortex, it has a Christ energy, it has an unseen ability that surrounds it and you, but it's positively charged. So this, uh, before I say that, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you why it depends on what type of being you are, um, and what actually is confound in your vessel you know they got silver vessels they got gold vessels you know what i'm saying they got turquoise vessels you know and i'm talking about you know different like vases and cups and glasses and stuff you know what i mean now we were we was the 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 the, the fluid the liquid and the gas pushed put in these vessels all right now listen It was um um I know this these people, right? Um they're uh let's just use this 
the term that states European people, right? The mother got dementia and and all types of problems. Are all t I mean, all kind of problems. She just can't even talk. She don't even understand what the fuck you're talking about. But I don't know how long ago that was working or whatever, or how long that has happened to this lady. All right. But nevertheless, um, and, and the daughter is old too. She's like about, mm, she's, you know, up in the age, you know, but nevertheless, she's got a lot of problems. She's got this, you know, all kind of stuff. These white European people now, now hear this though. When I went into their house, all right, because I was doing some work for the landlord. That's why I was over this house. Nevertheless, um, he, I mean, um, they had, guess what, a, 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 a pink Himalayan sea salt lamp. No, it was not a lamp. It was actually a Himalayan sea salt bowl with big old crystals in it, right? Big old sea salt crystals in it, right? Pink Himalayan sea salt. And I looked down, I said, is that, is that a... Is that pink Himalayan sea salt? They said, yes, it's a lamp. Watch. And they cut it on and the base glue. And, you know, it, so the heat from the lamp inside, the light, the lamp, the heat, you know, the heat, right, would throw off negative ions. Now, listen to this. This is how I come up with this thought. They sick as hell. Someone told them evidently to get a negative ion generator. I think that's going to increase their problems. Yes. Because they ignorant as hell too. Just like we are or was at certain times and is at, on certain points. Because a European is drawn mostly to the positive ionosphere. The positive ions. All right? Because of their makeup, because of their um, color, I mean, odorless, colorless, formless gases that's pulled in that vessel. All right? Nevertheless, they get, they getting sicker. They getting worse. worse. But I, did, I, didn't, I didn't notice that until a couple of days ago when it came to my thought. And I had to think back to when I went over it and I seen that. As a matter of fact, she kept she keeps on getting sick. You know what I mean? She be having um stuff all on her lungs and all this type of shit. But nevertheless, okay. Now, so you have to understand that some people, particularly European people that like the cold, right? They get highly charged. They walk outside when it's freezing in shorts, right? So why would you go get a negative ionosphere? Talking about you getting healed and you getting health. You're not getting health. See? You're not. And I'm going to tell you that because you need to know it. So anyway, so these negative ions, right, is what the, carb the so-called carbonated brothers and sisters, gods and goddess need. Needs the negative ions. All right, they need to be heat. All right, this is what we need. So, I, I got to thinking about more and more on down that line, and I kind of completely got off a track of where I was going with this. Okay, um, so because I was just um, uh, uh what can I say, jibber jabbing. Nevertheless, but I'm, I'm going to give you these, this, this information, right? Now, um, hmm, the ions, negative ions, positive ions, the difference between the, the bodies, okay? And um, what was I at, though? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, it, it'll come back. It'll come forward once again. Nevertheless, what I what I want to talk to y'all about is this thing, though. Check it out. All right. Now, 
Okay, hold on. I can't get back. I, I want. I want. I want to stay here for a minute. This rabbit's foot. Oh yeah, this, this rabbit's foot, right? So, the rabbit's foot, I know, is positively charged. That'd be the wrong thing. It would be the wrong thing. Possibly. For a carbonated or melanated. Okay? For a melanite. Or a mild carbonite. Or a male carbonite. To have. Right? Male carbonite. <laughs> anyway. Male carbonite. Nevertheless, um, so, but when you look back, that doesn't include all different fur, right? Now, give you, uh, give you for for instance, if we look back in so-called Africa, so-called Alki Bulan, so-called Kemet, the priests and stuff wore leopard skins. Now, listen. It's, it's got something to do with the correct correspondence. You know, the Indians wore feathers. Right? It has something to do with the correct correspondence. Those who wear um, um, uh, different type of ancient hairdressers, you best believe it is a perfect correspondence. Yes, yes, a perfect correspondence, all right, to repel or to vortex certain things, okay, to perfectly align the unseen dynamics, all right, these so-called electro or static dynamics that's involved, all right. And it possibly even go more than that. It's possible that what we're actually talking about is the carbon itself, which has the ability to bond. Well, it's a possibility that we can have the ability to unbond shit. Farfetch, yeah, pseudo. Mm, really? No, I don't think so. Nevertheless, so anyway. They wore leopard skins, you know what I'm saying? And stuff like this, you know? Now, I can go check and find out, and I am going to see what's up with that. Was it positive charge or negative charge? But see, here's the thing, too. When, just like it, the glass, the glass is a positive charge. No, the glass is a negative charge. Vice versa. But when you rub two of them together, the same ones, one becomes... A completely negative charge so the charge can change just like the earth can become positive if it gets cold or it gets blocked from sunlight all right now you got to understand now it's a neutral place in there too all right it's a neutral place in there too because you got the proton the electron and the neutron you got three in everything you know one is three <laughs> nevertheless we won't go there Nevertheless, check it. So anyway, uh, check out the correspondence, man. Now seriously, now let's get on to this. You know what I'm saying? I hope I didn't bog and drag you out, but I'm 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 I'm, I'm cool with you staying around, all right? With me um for a minute. Now I'm gonna get to this playlist because well I'm gonna tell you about the story first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find this thing right. So this is what happened. This is what happens, all right. So I thought about, um, I don't know if I should even make this that long. Anyway, I got to lean back, all right? Y'all, let me lean back. Lean back. All right. All right, check this out, y'all. Listen, brothers, sisters, gods, and goddesses, all right? Dig this hill. Dig this hill, all right? Dig this here. You know, don't you know some Puerto Ricans? Don't you know some Mexicans? Do they speak Spanish? Do they speak Puerto Rican? And if they do, who taught them Puerto Rican? Uh, or who taught them Spanish? 
you know, who taught them the slang of Mexican, uh, Me uh, uh, Mexican or whatever, you know what I mean? Who taught them? Who do, who did they get it from? Their mother and father, right? Okay. You know some Italians? They speak Italian, right? Okay, they're here in America, right? Some of them speak Italian or whatever that language is, and then the other ones speak something else or whatever, right? Latin, whatever, whatever, you know? So check this out. You got 14, 15% of the population here in America, all right? So-called African-American, but no one here speaks the language of any state in Africa. None. The language can only be transferred to the youth by the mother or the father. Do you mean that slavery and a whip can whip your ass into submission to um, lose your language? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Can a ass whooping make a person forget how to talk? What made all of these so-called Africans, right? Here in America, lose their language. That on the boat they spoke, if it was a boat. On that boat they spoke, all right? But they get over here, get ass whooped, wife and moms and daughter raped. They may have been raped and they forgot how to talk. That don't make sense. Not at all. No goddamn where you want to place that. It makes no damn sense. So I said, well, what the fuck could make a people lose their language? I said, well, damn, goddamn it, we didn't have a language then. Because if it is 14% of the people here in America that can't speak their original language or original tongue, We should be we should be by language. We should at least have two languages, right? If we came from Africa, or at least somebody or a small group of people here in America should have still kept their language. But no such thing has happened, and it hasn't happened, and you never heard of it. If they if you speak an African language, you learned it in college or in school or uh, uh, from some type of YouTube um, thing or something. Or, or some people you might know. What am I getting at? Hmm. Check this one out. Yeah, I'm relaxing right now. But um, there is no connection. What do you mean? See, I'm doing too much, huh? Okay. I'm trying to record here and using what's the name. Come on, don't do me like this. Okay. Here we go now. All right, let me get to the playlist. Now, what I was saying is that we had no language. It's kind of odd and real ironic that so many so-called Africans here with no damn language. Imagine that. You know what I mean? It makes no damn sense. I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't fathom how that would take place. But, which would only mean we didn't speak a language. Now, how did that sound? We didn't speak with vowels, according to them, their history, right? Um, but that's not even something I'm on right now. You can mess with that a little bit if you want, but hold on. Let me get to this. Where is my, in my playlist, I got so many things here. I, I, I know where I put it. Um, hold on. A guide. Under a guide. I got a lot of things under in my playlist called a guide and there are there for you to think everything in there that guide is for you to think past what the fuck they're thinking and place it in different places which they haven't placed it then you will find wisdom and understanding no doubt all right let me see um now the reason why i speak on this about us being here for so long and none of us know our language, if we have one, right? Um, I 
got so much stuff on these negative ideas. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to get y'all this. Check this out. So anyway, it's not there. So wait a minute. I only put it there, but it, it, it came today. It came today. So let me go down. My subscriptions and find it then. Just oh, internet connection. What is wrong? I can't. I can't do both of these. I can't um use the hotspot and record on the camera. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Bear with me, y'all. All this stuff is basically new that I'm coming across. Um, plays this channel, uh, but I don't know the channel who did that. Um, okay, yes, I do. Let me see. Channel. Uh, seems like they messing with my shit. This channel does not feature any other. Oh, Lord, Lord. Oh, Hold on, y'all. Bear with me, man. I, I would really hate to stop this without telling you. Oh, goodness. It's not there. But nevertheless, how can I do this? I'm going to give it to you anyway. All right, check it out. It is a place. All right, in Illinois, they said it was a long, uh, it's an ancient city, and it, it just came up today. All right, um, someone's speaking about it. There's a video out there. It says uh, ancient city, okay, um, that was covered in pyramids, and it's in America, and they say it's in Illinois. And one, wait a minute, I, I took, I took what's the names of it? That's good. Hold up, I took uh, screenshots of the shit. I think, yeah. So I should pull up the string shots for you. All right. Um, I took them on the other damn, <laughs> the other computer. I mean, the other. Goodness gracious. Yeah, well. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, I did. It's on the unit that I'm using to talk to y'all. I'm into film this. So anyway, anyway, it's a it's a it's a place with m many pyramids and mounds. All right, I think it's like I, I forget the name of the mound. But anyway, it's in Illinois. But the strangest thing about it, they said these people um, was there, and I've noticed they was wearing different types of things. You know, putting in a, a perfect correspondence type of getup. You know what I mean? Anyway, so they said that, I'm going to say this word, your Hopi or something like that. Not the Hopi Indians. I don't think it's the Hopi Indians. It's something else. All right. But they said the bad thing about these people didn't leave a language for us. They didn't leave a language, meaning they didn't use a language, meaning they didn't have a language. These people build pyramids. Now they ain't saying it was the Atlantis. They saying that the pyramids was a city in some people. I look at the comments. The comments said it was Illinois. I think it was like Wolf Mound, maybe. Um, but th th that's not the only place though. Now, you know, and it has more than like. 400 pyramids all over and stuff on sitting on top of mounds and everything. I'm going to show it to you. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it in the description. All right. I will do that. I'm going to put it in the description. So look into the description and you'll see. Nevertheless, what, what was ironic about these people, they had, they didn't leave a language. Now, whether it was your Hopis or whatever, or your Hoopies or Groupies, it couldn't have been Groupies. <laughs> but nevertheless, whether it was Atlanteans and they want to put it in a smaller reference and like a, a non, you know, high intelligent type of people. 
That fits your background, brothers, sisters, guys, and goddesses. You don't have a language. I remember Malcolm said, what did the white man do to make you as dumb as you are right now? What did the white man do to take your language? He didn't take it. We didn't have one. Speech, right? Speaking, even in the Bible said first there was the word. How can the word come before thought? Have you ever asked yourself that? How come the how can the word be before the thought? Listen, the thought travels seven times faster than sound. So you're moving fast in thought. But when you go to speak, you slow down the momentum of the charged particles you're actually condensing and formulating. Because you formulate them in some words. Nevertheless, our language had no vowels. You know, we talk about vibrations. Hmm. That's a vibration. And then is you could change the vibration and send it in pulses. It don't necessarily, when you meditate, and it don't necessarily just and guess what? There are certain words, or not, well, not words, there are certain frequencies that you're gonna naturally just generate. Because you know how you get angry and you just want to bust out? And if you just start going, hmm, or whatever it is, like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? You just gotta feel that feeling and just Instead of saying something, mm, you know how we go, mm, or whatever. Nevertheless, that was the illustration going somewhere, but I, I guess I'll do a U-turn on that. So nevertheless, we didn't have a language. He didn't take no language. And that's the only position that's going to place us in a position to understand or understand who we were. Because we can't go back and say we know we wasn't so-called African. You are greater than you can even imagine because you can't even imagine how great you as your ass is. Now, I'm going to get back to you, y'all. I didn't mean to take this long, and I didn't mean to get um unprepared to show y'all all the shit I'm talking about, but I'm throwing some stuff at y'all just as fast as I can, brothers, sisters, guys, and goddesses. And the correspondence is a necessary tool that we must start using. And, yes, it does. Gonna, it's going to start allowing you to understand what you must step away from even with what you're wearing. See, we're not supposed to have shit on. We're not supposed to be blocking no alpha particles, no beta particles, no thethera particles, or whatever, however you say that word, thethera, or whatever, and no gamma rays is supposed to be blocked. You know what I mean? You know? It is not supposed to be blocked. So you can be negatively charged with all the frequencies shining on you, like that plant, like that tree. The tree don't need to be washed down. Nevertheless, keep it moving. All right, keep it moving. The speeching is slowed down to a point where where we could actually conceive that it's better to talk about something. I don't think it's good to talk about stuff so much. Only when you informing someone to do well. But all that rah rah and roo roo and all that shit. We need to stop that shit. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna end it on this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make another one too. You know this this YouTube shit, and the social media can be a dangerous place. All you who listen to this need to say something to make it a better place. Meaning, to construct yourself in a manner, and everybody should be allowed their attitudes. You know what I mean? This is your shit. 
But don't be a fool with it. But give. They say give. You know, don't think about money. Give information. Give the knowledge. Look at our people. We said game is to be sold, not told. Well, even if you're in hell, you're going to choose to sell me the knowledge you have, nigga. You're not selling me a, 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 a mobile home. You're not selling me some Oregon. You you selling me some words you're talking about. But that's cool. That's cool. But get on a video like we all do and speak about it. And then inform and embrace everybody. Not 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 I didn't say like or love anybody. Okay? But embrace the realm in which we speak from. And try to keep did you know how you try to keep down bullshit in the in a, in your community? If you are a community type of person, like you know how you try to keep shit from you know building and sparking up. Well, we need to keep shit from building up before it builds up or before it sparks, before it spark up, so we can keep this playground a ground where we can play, so called. Speak and say whatever we want to say. You know. For real, for real. You know? That could be done in many ways. But use your imagination and use your uh, tack and wit to make the ethers a better and safer place. All right? You know, a better and safer place, man. You know what I'm saying? Just without talking. You know, acknowledge one for that. Don't be getting on people for saying shit. You know, that's unintelligent. And it's not necessary. And we don't know what the fuck we could be doing. Therefore, take care to give good advice and not welcome motherfuckers, but embrace the channel in which you embrace and extend that to other places. All right? Just extend it to other places. Don't get frustrated with somebody. Don't lock on and latch on to everything and every word another person say. You know, I'm going to give you an example. I thought I was going to stop, but I'll, since I'm in this, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit more, right? If you can uplift someone's heart, you done right, right? You know how... When you was unconscious, right? When you was unconscious, I mean straight sleep, sleepwalking and shit, right? And we would look at play, we would look at brothers and sisters on the YouTube that was advancing and giving us knowledge, and we say, "Damn, it sounds like he's talking directly to me," you know? He, they talking directly to, you know, us, you know? And we felt that energy, we felt that power, right? So now we start becoming, um, 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 um. Sharing our thoughts, wisdom, views, and intentions. Not so much intentions, but inventions and stuff like that. We start doing that. And we st we still gathering information. But then that energy that drew you in, that it was sounded like he was talking directly to you, which guided you in or woke your ass up. But that same energy is now making you say, that motherfucker talking about me. Oh, you got some, oh, that mother, you hear what that motherfucker say? He, he got to be talking about me. See, it's stupid shit. Embrace that shit. Let that shit alone. Don't be aiming shit at no nobody, man. Keep this shit safe as possible. We'll know who fuck it up. You and everyone else will know who's fucking it up. Long as you try to keep it safe, all right? Try to keep it just as clear and clear and say shit like this come up with certain things to say and others gravitate and grab a hold of it and pass it around brother and sisters gods and goddesses you know we don't have to destroy every motherfucker thing and normally we wait till the shit get destroyed before we try to fix it and at that time after the destruction sometimes it can't be fixed so let's do this before it gets destroyed how about that y'all and with that, correct correspondence. <laughs> Take care.
Be well and do your thing. All right.